Hi guys, welcome to Mysterious and Discovery channel. I and everyone find the answer to the question in videos today. If Atronus dies in space, what would happen to his dead body? If you like this video, please click like and subscribe to support channel. Thank you so much. The outer space has no limits. Nobody knows its start and end point. That means if an astronaut dies in space, his dead body will be wandering in the deep space for millions of years. As far as written in the records, there is no natural death of an individual resistant in space. Technically, only three people have died in space in the manner mission. But let's consider the hypothetical situation where an astronaut space for during its routine trek outside the space zone. And now, what would happen to it in next? 10, 20, or 30 seconds. Space suit failure. Let's say, due to some technically failures, an astronaut space suit was hit by a small meteorite and ripped a hole in it. Now, this is a life and death situation. So, what would be the next step of the astronaut? Unlike in science fiction movies, there would be nobody explosion or a head prop as seen in the reality. But in the next 10 seconds, the astronaut will be losing his consciousness and unfortunately, due to the lack of air pressure, he will pass away. Everyone knows that the body of a dead person changes over time. This change begins immediately after death and becomes more obvious every hour. But how does the decomposition process take place in space, where the conditions are really clearly different from the Earth? Dead body decomposition in space versus on Earth. Under normal conditions, a dead body starts getting the pale color and then the skin around eyes and nails turning into gray color, which is associated with the termination of the feeling of blood and small vessel with blood. When the heart ceases to function, Gravity begins to control the fluids in the body. They accumulate in the lower parts of the core. Blood falling down causes the appearance of cadaveric spot. In spray, everything happens very differently. There are several possible scenarios of how the body will change over time. If an internal or external headshot does not act on the corpse, it will freeze through very quickly. A spray cost remains unchained for many years. Today, science cannot say for sure how long a dead body can be in such condition without change. It's possible that it will live in airless spray forever if it is not attracted to a plane or star. In this case, thermal radiation can hit the body and after that, it will change beyond recognition or completely collapse. It's quite another matter if a head starts ice on the course. For example, if the disease will be in the outer atmosphere, there, the body can heat up, but not to the extent that it's burn up. The cause is dehydrated and will become reminiscent of Jackie, and a rarefied environment will sterilize it. Since microorganisms play a key role, in the decomposition process, it's quite possible that the body can be in orbit for many years without undergoing special trains. If the body is in a space, it's important whether the heating will work. If so, then the body will begin to decompose in time, while a bacterial friendly temperature is maintained. If there is no histosis, the suit will not affect the safety of this use and the cost will free through as if it was without it. Let us clarify that this is just a theory, and it's actually very difficult to say if an astronaut dies, then how the decomposition process of his body will go. A huge number of factors that cannot always be predicted can make their own adjustment. 